Well, the mild November weather continues for us, starting off this morning with very pleasant conditions in the mid 50s, dry skies, not tracking any fog this morning. Looking at your forecast today, it's going to be another very warm one, even warmer than yesterday, up to 59 degrees by 10 a.m. By 1 o'clock, we're already into the 70s and forecasting for many locations to get up to the mid 70s today. We'll start to notice some increase in the clouds. And you're going to notice the wind, too, becoming a bit on the breezy side. Those winds, as you can see, coming from the south. Of course, anytime you've got a south wind, of course, we are driving in warmer conditions. So it's going to be a very warm breeze. But yes, those winds will become more of the weather story for us heading into at least the first half of the upcoming weekend. You can see today on our skycast, we're not going to see any precipitation. We're staying nice and dry, but starting to see some more of those high and mid-level clouds moving through. We've got this rental system bringing rain from Wisconsin, Iowa, down through parts of Kansas and Missouri. Actually, some very heavy rain out there. As you can see, as we go throughout today and into tonight, that rain stays well off to our west. As we head into tonight, we're nice and dry locally. And then tomorrow, we start to actually talk about some shower chances here. It looks like the best chance will be coming in around from midday through the afternoon. So the second half of our Saturday will hold the best chance for scattered showers to move through. And we'll see that shower chance continue through about sunset. There's 6 p.m. We have that final little back edge of the rain moving Moving through and as we head into tomorrow night we start to see clearing of the skies and then Sunday we'll have a sunny skies return across the area looking at rainfall with this system again it's very similar to the last few rain events here where it's very fairly light I think for a lot of us, a tenth inch to a quarter inch. There could be actually a few spots to see even less than a tenth inch and a couple isolated pockets where we may get just a little bit more. But overall, this is not going to bring a huge uh, dent in our drought that we are seeing across the area. Like I said, the other story with this system is the wind. We've already had a wind advisory issued for our counties here from Lima to the northwest from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Saturday. I have a feeling the rest of the counties will be filled in as this, uh, we get a little bit closer here. So I think we're all going to get in on that wind advisory uh, threshold here for today, Saturday, which uh, keep in mind, a wind advisory means gust of at least 45 uh, miles per hour. And we are seeing at least pretty high confidence now that we'll at least get to that point, if not a bit more. So today we're breezy, but it's still tolerable. We'll have gusts as high as 30 miles per hour this afternoon and staying breezy tonight. And as we head into tomorrow, this is by noon Saturday. We're looking at gusts of 44 miles per hour. And as you head into the afternoon, you just saw there where it got up to 48 miles per hour. At 2 p.m., it's still around 45 miles an hour. And then Saturday night, we really start to calm things down. So peak gusts could go as high as 50 miles an hour tomorrow. And then everything starts to quiet down after sunset Saturday night. And then we are looking at a much quieter day Sunday. And we'll have plenty of sunshine return as well. So for today, 73 degrees. Very warm. Get out there and enjoy. We're getting close to record territory with these temperatures and an amazingly warm night tonight. I mean, you think about a Friday night football in November, you're usually freezing with a heavy winter coat, but not the case tonight. 59 degrees and then for tomorrow, we'll see a high of 72. That high temperature comes in around midday and then temperatures start to fall off a bit in the afternoon as those showers arrive. Your seven day forecast shows still a lot of good weather ahead. Plenty of sunshine to the first half of next week. Highs will still be above 60 each and every day and then we'll track more shower chances by the end of next week. I'm not a fan of the wind, but it's hard to complain about this forecast, isn't right. it? Right. I November? agree with you totally, but we got what we got. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right.